for the privilege of being able to be a humble servant and come before your people and declare your word on today. So I pray that the people here less of minutes to keep you more with you. It's in Jesus' name I do pray. I want to honor the angel of this house and my pastor, all the other ministers. Uh, Reverend Love added more scripture, so I know he said seven minutes, but I got 14 by my count. Amen. Amen. <laughs> my scripture is uh, Job chapter 2, verses 15 through 23, and the word of God says, Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babies. Let the bridegroom come out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach, that the nation should rule over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations, but I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him away into a barren and desolate land with his face toward the eastern sea and his back toward the western sea. His stitch will come up and his foul odor will rise because he has done monstrous things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, and the tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully. Hallelujah, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain. Hallelujah. Uh, we are at a pivotal point right now in this passage of scripture. We are at the crossroads of repentance. We have come to a place that is, I believe, is called the crossroads to repentance. Hallelujah. And so first we have to understand that there was a problem. Hallelujah. And the problem begins, Job begins to describe the severity of the situation. Hallelujah. They were having an immediate problem. Yeah. Right? An immediate problem based in Judah was a series of calamities. They had locust plagues that devoured the crops that followed by severe droughts that threatened their survival. These events were seen as a direct result of the people's sins and disobedience yeah. to God. Now the locusts, they symbolize destruction and devastation of their way of life because the locust plague is symbolic of God's judgment upon Israel. The people had grown complacent in their relationship with God, engaged in an idolatry and, and failing to keep the commandments of God. The devastation, oh, it was meant to shake them and bring them down on their knees. Hallelujah. And so it emphasizes, this particular scripture emphasizes the urgency of the moment because it was urgent, hallelujah. He said, blow the trumpet in Zion, declare the holy fast, call the sacred assembly, let the priests who minister before the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. These challenges can serve, uh, can serve uh, in, in crises, personal. We have personal and societal crises just like they did. Look at it. These challenges, they serve as a reminder. These are a reminder to us that we need to return to God. Oh, yeah. That when we face consequences of sin, individually or collectively, that it is a signal that we need to seek a deeper spiritual relationship with God because there are spiritual problems. Hallelujah. Because beyond the physical devastation, hallelujah, there was a deeper issue. It was the people's spiritual state. They had turned away from God, hallelujah. They neglected the commands and they forsook the covenant. They forsook the covenant and the relationship with God. So today, we face our own locusts. We face our own droughts. Not necessarily in the form of natural disasters, but in the form of moral decay. And in the form of spiritual apathy. And a society that often turns its back on God. Often turns 
God's promise. We have seen the promise fulfilled in Jesus. Hallelujah. We've seen the promise fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. The cross at Calvary, it stands as an ultimate crossroad. Hallelujah. Where God's justice meets mercy. Hallelujah. It is there at the foot of the cross that we must bring our brokenness. Hallelujah. And our sins and our worries and our burdens. For it was on that cross. Hallelujah. That we